A lot of times when I sit down to paint, I have an idea in mind. Other times I like to just go with the flow and see where it takes me. Kind of like in a dream where you don't really know the outcome. This is my time to explore without pressure or expectations and just push the paint around the page. This midnight wave was one such experiment and it's quite a nice exercise in blending and flow. So I thought I'd make this video so that you could paint along too. I started off with a circle and blended different blues into the mix as I moved outwards. I'm using a half inch angled flat brush for this and I'm rotating the brush as I add the paint to the page to help keep my blending nice and soft. It doesn't really matter what blues you use for this, just make them lighter towards the centre with a little extra white and darker towards the outer edge with some black. Blend the colours together into a smooth circle as you go. It doesn't matter if you leave a few streaks, but we want our brush strokes to all follow this nice circular shape. At this point, I decided I wanted to give my circle a tail, creating this kind of smooth wave shape. I added a little green into my blue paint for this kind of dark blue-green lagoon colour, and I continued to adjust the colour on my brush each time I ran out of paint. I spent a little time adding paint and creating a smooth flow from the round part where we started out to this wave shape. At the edges, I let the paint run out and used a dry brush texture to give that sense of spiral movement. I also did this at the tail end of the wave using curved brush strokes that tapered off at the end. The colours and the wave shape really felt like water to me, but when adding the dry brushing around the circular part, it kind of reminded me of a galaxy, so I decided to add a moon in the centre. All the colour underneath will mix easily with our white gouache here for the first layer, and that's okay, this pale blue will make a nice base for the more shadowy parts of the moon. And then once it's dry, we can add additional layers of white to brighten up areas and give that sense of texture. Mix a watery white mixture and flick some stars all over your galaxy. I added a sprinkle of larger stars too with just the tip of my brush. I really wanted to accentuate the flow of the blue, so I made my larger white spots into shooting stars, letting their tails follow the curves. You want to make sure all your stars are dry before you do this, so you don't accidentally smudge a blob of white gouache in the wrong direction. I used a little bit of blue gouache to add some shadows to my moon and softly blended this into the white around it. I always love to give my moons lots of texture showing the craters and the irregularities in the surface. I added some more large stars and made these sparkly with a tiny brush and little tapered lines extending up and down and to the left and right. I love the idea of this being a swirling dream sky, and to be honest, at this stage, I thought I was done. I stepped away to make a drink, and when I came back, I had the idea to tuck just a few tree shapes into the waves, so that's what I did. Because I know that the goal of time spent playing like this is not to produce something excellent. I don't have to worry about ruining anything. It really takes the pressure off, and it leaves me free to experiment with these little ideas. I added some black tree silhouettes, first marking in the height and location of the trunks, 
and then using a wobbly brush tip to create the shape of the branches and the foliage. I really loved the contrast of this and I spent a few more minutes blending in a few streaks of dark and light blue to really accentuate that spiral shape and finish off our midnight wave. <laughs> 